It is the 30th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start tonight with an article that was sent to me by one of my longtime viewers. Seaside Resort Swamped by Freak Foam Storm. It looks like a car wash gone out of control, and the truth really has got locals in, the, in a lather. Drivers and walkers heading along the prominent at popular Lanshire tourist spot were swamped by thick, dirty foam yesterday. Well, the oily bubbles were blown ashore after 90, 90 mile an hour winds battered the resort of uh, Cleveland's near Blackpool. In places, the freak foam was almost three feet deep, trapping, trapping residents in their homes and stranding drivers. And uh, basically, the story goes on to say, uh, Last night, the environmental agency was probing the foam to check for polluting material. A spokesman said, We have taken samples of the foam, as obviously, if this is caused by any kind of polluting material, we need to know about it. Early samples are not showing any trace of detergent, so we think it could be a combination of decomposing algae matter turned with the, the tide and the westerly wind, which is causing the foam. We know it happens occasionally <clears throat> and can disappear again quite quickly, so we will be looking further into what triggers it. Pretty crazy pictures on that, too. I think I'll post one of them on my channel page. Off to uh, SOP.net, drought leaves Texas Lake a ghost of its former self. Uh, more than a year of drought has dropped the lake reservoir levels in central Texas by tens of feet, exposing signs of previous human settlements and threatening water supplies. September 2010 through September 2011 were the driest 12 months on record for much of the region, with the rainfall at 30 to 40 percent of the norm. And uh, this drought is continuing in Texas and northern uh, Mexico, New Mexico. Beautiful polar stratospheric clouds forming around the Arctic Circle. As December draws to a close, the first polar stratospheric clouds of northern winter are forming around the Arctic Circle. And uh, they got some pictures of it. Unusual amount of gray whales spotted off the California coast. Whale watchers are saying that migrating gray whales are swimming through Southern California waters in record numbers this winter. Now, the Los Angeles Times said on Wednesday that a whale watcher at Point uh, Vincent in Rancho Palos Verdes has recorded a record 163 sightings in December so far, which is the most that have been logged at this location in 28 years. And they go on to say that it's, uh, it's, it's uncommonly a large amount of whales, uh, but they don't mention um, <clears throat> a tsunami debris field twice the size of Texas in the Pacific Ocean and uh, seals dying left and right in Alaska. Finland hammered by powerful storm, powerful cuts plague up to 200,000. A record number of households have spent the night without electricity in the aftermath of Monday's powerful storm. Up to 200,000 people are suffering from power cuts as new storm winds cause more damage. Weird Christmas weather, Australia tornadoes, and unusual warmth in the United Kingdom and South Pole. While large parts of the U.S. experience serene Christmas skies, violent thunderstorms tore through parts of Australia. Meanwhile, temperatures spiked to record levels in, Ar in Antarctica and a near record levels in the United Kingdom. Yeah, pretty crazy. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the Extinction Protocol. Unending earthquake tremors plague residents in western region of India. Earth earthquake tremors continue to rattle um, these regions amid cold wave-like conditions. As many as 13 tremors, that include 9, uh, were recorded during the last three days, according to official sources. And this is where the Asian and the Indian plate meet. Alaska's Cleveland volcano erupts, unleashing 15,000 foot ash cloud. An ash cloud erupted some 15,000 feet into the air from Alaska's Cleveland volcano, according to satellite images and the Alaska Volcano Observatory. The volcano located, <coughs> located in the Aleutian Islands, about 45 miles west of the community, uh, 
has been upgraded and downgraded several times over the last few months, flaring up in July and erupting in a form of a growing lava dome in August, and I remember reporting on that. So Cleveland is up and roaring once again. Disease seals washing ashore in Alaska being tested for possible Fukushima radiation exposure. Awakening volley of recent earthquakes rattling East Java as as has agitated three volcanoes. People living in the vicinity of three volcanoes in East Java have been warned to be on the alert as they were showing signs of increased volcanic activity. And you got to remember Indonesia has like 160 something volcanoes on alert. A very, very seismically active area. And uh, they're going on about the new island forming in the Red Sea. Of course, I've been reporting on that all week. Over to the Ice Age now. Solar wind weakens Mercury's magnetic field. More proof an electromagnetic universe exists. And they were putting out stories earlier about how the solar winds affect the Earth's magnetic field as well. Switzerland, snow, snow, and more snow. 21 inches, that's 53 centimeters of snow in three hours in, the, in uh, one location. Another vigorous frontal system will move through western Washington state Thursday night and Friday. Up to three feet of snow for Oregon. Strong Pacific front will, be, will bring heavy snow and strong gusty winds to the Cascade Mountains. And that's about all new they have tonight. Now over to the nuclear stuff, e, &E News. Uh, radiation forecasts withheld by government. Ministry decided such data would be unavailable. Releasing it would cause unnecessary panic. Government projections assumed one becquerel per hour was leaking from Fukushima. Actual rate reached at least 10 quadrillion times higher. So you think their numbers are a little low, huh? Just in, Japanese government officials evacuated out to 60 kilometers after reactor explosions. Public only told 20 kilometers. And you remember the, the United States mili military got the heck out of town when all that happened. Fukushima boss, the worst case scenario is China Syndrome, where fuels have leaves containment. Top government officials, strong possibly fuel, strong possibility fuel outside the containment. And we all saw those explosions. You got to remember the fuel pools were on top of these reactors. And uh, all that stuff went somewhere. And that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your videos or leave your comments below. Uh, try to have some fun today. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.